Uh, we're going to make sure that we construct all of our flesh tones starting from the dark into the lightest tones. There we go. That could be that could be a nice way to start this. As you'll hear me all the time talk about neutralizing, and the, and you want to have a a middle tone and a gray tone. Pastel is you can float it over and over and over and also what's great about it is you can come back in and go to the original paper mass and we have a nice form here. I'm going to hit the edge here nice and hard and a half tone through the mass. Um, again we're going to put things on and then we will take them off and we will find our way float you want it to float I, I want the letters to come through i want the this this square to come through uh and i'm going to come over here with a nice green passage and back in here and these are really uniquely for color comp this is backlit so these are these will all be in half tones that's what's hard about this particular exercise is now we don't want this too light because it's backlit. What we're doing now, we're just blocking in things. This, some of this stuff's not going to work, but it's uh, it has to be done now. We'll just take that down. Just take it down until we get the color we want. It's easy. I have to find a solution for this area here. Let's not forget this runner here that keeps them all together, theoretically. What I want to do is really place this pause in, in, uh, on the ground. This is our shadow mouse. There we go. Double line. Anytime you can, you do a double line. Get a seam in there. That makes clothing. Wait a minute, I'm going to get over here. Maybe I can get some kind of descriptive form here. That would be fun. And I'm going to open up some area in here. I just, there's a multitude of things I'd like to do. So let's get a nice, nice, real strong shadow in the pattern here. There we go. Now this is a little aggressive, so I'm just going to take it down with a neutral.